Guys, what's up? Welcome to Skirt Garage. My name is Connor. I'm pumped to have you on the channel today. What I've got for you is a 2015 Jaguar F-Type R. It is stock. It will be racing a 2015 BMW F80 M3 that is very heavily modified. And because I'm a nerd, what I would like to do is race that M3 on a very mild state of tune first to kind of see where they're at. And then I want to crank it up a bit, do a full fat stage one tune with some ethanol and see how these two cars compare. So without further ado, let's get started. And what makes this video even more interesting is the car that I will be racing. Do you guys remember seeing that F80 M3 in the intro video you just watched or really any of the old intro videos I've ever made? Well, that was in fact my car. I sold it about one year ago to a close friend of mine who lives here about 15 minutes away from me. And of course, like any good F80 M3 owner, he has been continually modifying this car already from what it once was. It popped the hood. Pop the hood? Pop the hood. Right now, it is sitting very massaged with a full dine-in package of the intakes, the heat exchangers, it has VRSF uh, charge pipes, intercooler, it's got all the cosmetic bits, interior and exterior with the voice diner diffuser, Remus race exhaust, mid pipe, and of course, that Boot Mod 3 tune. Now this thing is very, very intense. If you wanna know a little bit more about it, you can click on a video I have up here in the upper right hand corner of the screen. And if you wanna know more about it now and any of the cool DIYs that will be going on in the future, follow my good friend JS Garage on YouTube. He's already done one very impressive DIY on the car. Anyways, this is gonna be a great, great video. I know that that thing is fast. And I actually remember way back when, when I first joined the F-Type forums, I saw a video with a custom tuned F80 M3 versus a stock uh, F-Type R and the F-Type R won. And I remember thinking, dude, how? My F80 M3 was so fast, I really wonder what would happen and I'm so glad that my friend came out so we could do this. What we'll be doing is starting the F80 M3 off with a mild tune. Of course, it's more powerful than what it would be otherwise if it was completely stock M3 but it'll be running a GTS tune. After that, we're gonna up the ante and we're gonna do a full fat stage one 93 octane tune with a little bit of ethanol. So let's get started. We're gonna start with this uh, exhaust comparison first, then we'll head on and we'll do the drag races and roll races. So, and guys, if you haven't already, please give this video a big old thumbs up and consider subscribing and hitting the little notification bell next to it. You guys know that I'd really appreciate that and it helps this channel grow so we can do more races, more DIYs, more fun stuff. All right, let's get started. <laughs> on the line for sure. 
Alright gang, first set of races done, let's talk about it real quick. From a dig, you know, those standing starts, that was always going to happen, I'm sorry. If you own an F80 M3 or if you've owned any M car that's rear wheel drive only, you guys know how difficult it is to launch those cars. I mean, I've never recorded a sub 4 seconds 0 to 60 in my M2 or my M3 and it's just because when you tune those cars, it's next to impossible to get all that power down to the ground and launch effectively. I know it can happen, but when I've seen it done, it's always been on a prep surface or our triple eight R's on a perfect, you know, stars aligned type run. So unfortunately in this case, it did not win and it, it never really was going to. I've recorded multiple sub four second, you know, three and a half second zero to sixties on my F type R being completely stock. So. That was always gonna happen. You can even see in the video, the F80 M3 was kind of wiggling and sliding out as it was getting going. As far as the roll races go, again, you know, a GTS tune does add about 50 horsepower and it is a nice healthy bump in power, but it's just not enough. You know, the F-Type R, it has a positive displacement supercharger and so it makes its full fat 550 horsepower almost immediately and you can tell that Every single time uh, you heard the third honk, the F-Type R always jumped out a little bit and it increased its lead until the end. But guys, now it is time to do a full stage one 93 octane with a little bit of ethanol tune. So what I need you guys to do is comment down below who will win. Don't be a scaredy cat, go ahead and do it. Comment down below who do you think is going to win this race. And without further ado, let's see it. correct when you guessed who would win if you voted and guessed for the f80 m3 then you were correct and interestingly enough i actually put this out on a poll on instagram and the majority of the followers had also said the f80 m3 my question is this what would happen if the f type r were to also get tuned this is a velocity ap tune it comes with a, a larger diameter pulley 
and it is gonna be a complete monster when it is done. So hopefully in the future, what I can do is a tuned F-Type R versus a tuned f 80 m 3 and then we will see what happens. But that's neither here nor there right now. Let's talk about these last three races. You might have noticed that in the first race, the F80 lost, the M3 actually lost, and there's a reason why. When you tune your car with boot mode, every time you do that, it erases the previous uh, M modes that you had configured yourself. And uh, the driver who was racing against me did not realize that. So we went out and on that first race, I think he started in third gear and I was in second, and that's kind of why I won that race. In the second race, we were both in second gear, ready to go, and on the third honk, it kicked him into fourth gear right before we took off. So I took off and kind of said, you know, you go ahead or whatever, and I waited until he came across me, and then I took off after him. Jump out. And it wasn't enough to catch him, and he won that race. The third race was definitely the most telling. Uh, we both were in second gear, we left at the exact same time, and you saw what happened, he won. So very interesting to say the least. It's really interesting to see how much room manufacturers leave on the table for aftermarket companies like Boot Mode to take advantage of. You know, with a simple downpipe and tune, you can make 200 horsepower more than that car comes with stock, and it's pretty dang reliable. It's uh, honestly very, very cool. and. I'm really excited to see what happens when I get this puppy tuned next week. Hopefully we can do another rerun and see what happens then. But anyways, that's going to do it for us, guys. Don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up. And also, I would really appreciate you subscribing, sharing this, leaving positive comments down below. That really helps the channel grow so we can do more fun stuff like this. Anyways, have a great day, guys, and I appreciate you stopping by. Peace.